I just got over here to the field and uh, ever since the rain quit and the wind's been swirly ever since and uh, so I got over here to the field and if I go sit in the stand the wind will be blowing right over where the deer will be coming from but if I go sit in the blind it'll kind of be going that way so uh, I think I'm on the go set the blind I'm going to get sprayed down real quick I ain't going to take no chances and uh, maybe I'll be able to set the blind, uh, tree stand in the morning or uh, tomorrow evening got the uh, killer instinct crossbow cock ready to rock and uh I ain't been able to do much hunting because I've been kind of busy this week. Uh, I was going to go this morning, but I went up to the other cornfield that ain't been picked yet and pulled them cards out and uh, got a few things on there that I didn't want to see, but I'm going to post them on the, the Hunter's Instinct group page on Facebook. So. If you want to see them, you can go on there and check them out. So I'm going to get sprayed down real good and then head up to the blind and get settled in. And I uh, went to uh, check the cards, the, uh, the cameras that I've got over here. That sun's bright. And uh, for some reason, Thirty-three has uh, switch uh, kind of the sides. Where he was going to, and where he's at now. But I don't know if he's working both sides or what. So that'll be something that. Uh, For some reason, he's over here on the tree stand side instead of being over here where I saw him at the last time. But then I pulled this card out over here and he showed up over there. So right now he's on both sides of the field and uh, I don't know if uh, him and the uh, eight pointer with the spike coming off the right main beam is going up in a toggle or a struggle or, <coughs> or what but uh, I've got uh, this one I call spike eight pointer with the spike off the right main beam he was over here in velvet with the uh, crooked brow and uh, or tall brow tall boy um, now he seems like he's since he's come out of velvet he's come over here to the tree stand side so I don't uh, know how it's going to work out between the two of them. I hope I can, you know, settle the difference tonight with one of them going into the bed of a Silverado truck, but we just had to uh, see what the night brings. I talked to a few people that went out this morning, and uh, with all the rain and stuff, they said they just had very little movement to none at all. So, hopefully, uh, They'll get up out of their beds and come in and we can put an arrow in one. Stick around, we'll see what happens. Well, I end up coming on up here to the blind. Uh, as I got out of the truck, the wind was bad. But when I got up into the field, 
it was bold like it'll work out for me to go to the tree stand so I started to go back and get the stuff and go to the tree stand but after I said well I made a decision I was going to the blind so that's where I was going so after I got up here I kind of glad that I made that decision to come on up here because once I got up here the wind is blowing back towards that way and black towards my left so that's uh <clears throat> that would have been bad for the tree stand I mean it, if it stayed that way or kind of like over towards the field it would have been all right but it had to be like almost straight across from me blowing or a little towards the left blowing because as you know the last video where we couldn't find that buck and uh, which I found a, a big game tracking dog in East Tennessee there's a couple of them on there and uh, the guy's name is Kenny Frost um, I got a hold of him finally Monday and uh, he said it would be like uh, 5 o'clock Monday before he got out here and it would have been about the same time before I got off work but I did get a hold of him I did find one so next time something like that happens you know uh, I'll be able to get a hold of a tracking dog be able to come in and track him up so uh, but anyways that's where the deer will be coming from be coming from my right and if it's blown every bit back straight back or towards the right or even towards the left from that tree stand then it would uh, it wouldn't work out but I think the winds are supposed to switch sometime overnight towards uh, early morning where I'll be able to hunt the stand in the morning so uh, one more thing I just want to show you if you buy the killer instinct crossbows you know when you get the quiver and you put your arrows and broadheads in that your broadheads will be sticking out about like that so what you have to do is take that piece of foam out and put it down in there to get your broadheads down in the quiver that way you ain't got to worry about them catching on you or catching on every damn thing that you walk into the woods and touch so uh I guess I'm on a get quiet here and settle in like I said I want to hopefully see one of these bucks see what's uh, going on because there's a awful lot of switching going on around here uh, but uh, everything seems to be quiet over here so we're going to uh, settle in and Hopefully something good happens this evening. there so 
As I was coming out, uh, I looked over to where the cut corn was at and stuff, and I seen uh, just one big doe coming into the cornfield. So I don't know uh, if they're just if they stirred late this morning or stirred right after the rain or what, or maybe I should have went out this morning or something there, but. Like I said, I had a lot of things to take care of and see nothing over in there, so I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, I guess uh, I don't know exactly where I'm going to go to in the morning, but uh, I'll ever go over to where we got the food plot at or the over here in the tree stand, so. Uh, I'm gonna see what Chris is gonna do and see where he wants to hunt at and stuff, and then I'll make a decision from there to see what, uh, what's gonna happen from there on out, so. Uh, but uh, I will be back out in the morning to see if we can't lay one on the ground, so. Hope y'all having uh, some good luck, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll start seeing uh, the same deer that we've been seeing. So, uh, if you like what you see, hit the like and subscribe and share button, and uh, we'll keep Burgos a fox. Uh, I'll keep bringing the videos to you. So hit the subscribe notification bell and. Share and like, and we'll see if we can't uh, get something going on here. <laughs>